Here we are in Punta Lest, Uruguay, and we thought we'd take the opportunity to uh, show you behind the scenes. We're here to do a camera recce. I'll quickly show you my scenic cameraman, Brownie. Uh, there he is. We're here for a couple of days. Um, we're meeting up with the local uh, operators uh, for Uruguay um, for, the, for this race, and we're off to Buenos Aires as well. So, oh, there he is. We're going to come and say hello. I'm Steve, nice thank you very much. Nice to meet you. I'm West. Good. Hi, West. Hi, hi. This is Ian. You can shake his hand if you like. No problem. He's our cameraman. Ian Brown. Uh, so, so we got who we got here? We got Augustine and Juan. Juan. Nice to meet you, Juan. Nice to meet you too. And, and you're a racing driver. Yeah. Good. Not this time because I'm. Uh, we are taking care of Punta del Este race now, but I'm a racing driver. My real profession is is that. Good. Come on, show us around. So, Fernando, these helmets here. This is the first element of my son. Yeah, okay. This is the second. My son is one. He tests for Minardi Formula One team. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, driving in Punta del Este. Yes. And this is 2000. Yeah. It's Argentinian uh, category. Got you. Obviously, it's based on some very famous uh, yeah. helmets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very similar. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> second pilot in the world. <laughs> no, very nice. So you have the main straight here. Yep. You have the pit lane that if, if you're watching this yes. drawing okay. is here and arrives yep. here. Yeah, yes. All the, all the garages. Okay. And you have the first chicane here, second chicane here. This is a fast one. I think that this one is going to be in sec second gear. This one is fourth gear itself. Here, here and here are, the, are your main overtaking spots. And if you have the courage, you can overtake here too. And, and the <laughs> because it's going to be a really hard breaking zone. I think that here is going to be nice because with all the buildings that we have here, it's going to be like an echo. And well, that's what we found in terms of production. Because of street circuits, the, um, the walls and the fencing, it, it cocoons the sound yeah. within. Do you know what? I think we've got to go out and have a look around, haven't we? Perfect. Let's go have a look around and we start marking things up and go from there. Okay. Right, man. Let's do it. Thanks. Thank you. Nice day. It is a nice day. Yeah, this is a Marina Bay. This is almost always full. Yeah. Yeah, it's really crowded because the reservations to the summer starts like one year before. So wh when does the season start here? December. December. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit of a yeah dip here. Excuse because this is camp. not fixed yet. Not fixed. Okay. They are with with spray. They they are mar marking yes. <laughs> with with uh, paint. Yes. They are marking the places that they have to fix to level off. Okay. The, the, yeah, this is the first. Um, yep. What is it, capa? The, f the first layer of tarmac. Okay, got it. Okay, so let's start with straight. This is pit entry. This is split entry. Got yeah. it. Okay, should we go down the pit lane? Yeah. Time for pit stop. Yeah. And so Senna comes into the pits. Okay. So then the team's garages are going to start here, the boxes. Yeah. yeah. And are these going to be, these are supplied by GL yeah. uh, events? The GL GL tents. Tents. Yeah, GL Okay. So these are all the marquees that are going to be down here. And there's yeah. the 10 plus the FIAs at the end, so scrutineering. Yeah. Could go as fast as possible. There is Vern going straight across at turn one. And did that keep him the lead of the race by going straight across there? Yeah, yeah, got so it. So you have a, you have a, the the drive the racing driver that is coming out of the pits. He have a perfect look to see if a car is arriving. You know? Sure, sure, sure. This is gonna be all new tarmac. The Jeff looks like he's uh, he's setting up PK uh, quite nicely here. So 78 percent, 77 percent in the middle there is the usable power remaining. This is where we an overtake place yeah. here. I think that the the Turn radio five. of the corner is gonna be like this. Here yeah. and then here. Nope. Okay. And this is a long straight. As we go into the breaks through the chicane, and he is right up behind Nelson Piquet now. And don't forget, Jean Eric Verne has the fan boost. There's not much room for a man inside here, though, filming wise. Yeah. It's quite tight. And then. Uh, here you change the side. I think we should park up and uh, okay and walk. walk. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I love to do this. Oh, sorry? I love to walk the track. Do you? Yeah. How many times have you walked the track? A thousand. <laughs> well, a thousand and one. <laughs> I love to do it. That's good. We see you love it. That's why everybody works in motorsport. We do love it because we love it. That's yeah. why. It's uh it's I, I I started in Formula One in '96 and I thought I was gonna come for one year to travel the world and uh, <laughs> 
right. And then you stay. Yeah. That was that was that was what? Nearly twenty now, eighteen years ago. This this building here, I think yeah. definitely because of the you've got the whole of that area there and then you've got the you have the sharp finish straight Perfect. and you're gonna have the beach and the sea as well would be good. Or maybe this one here actually, that might even be better, this one actually, because okay. they come through there and we're getting cut up, cut up to camera two. That'd be Perfect. camera two maybe. On top of that bridge there, and you can see the whole of this. And I think he position wise is about that building is about here, yeah. He's in the like that. 20 meters after the, the pit light entry. Yeah. My gut feeling is either that first tower or the second tower. So the cars are making their way around behind the safety car. Safety car still out. I think we need the commentary booth up there. Crane or something in this first corner here, hi. But yeah. I reckon we're just best off going high on one of these positions here. It covers the turn one. Okay. And also can see back through here and all the way through as well. And that'd be yeah, I remember that the track. Beach. Yeah. You have oh, one track here and the yeah, other yeah, side yeah. here. Cool. Victory for Sebastian Buemi and Edams in the third round of Formula E. Finally, Buemi has fulfilled his potential in Formula E. So how many more, uh, how many more weeks? <laughs> we have days, not weeks. <laughs> we have 66 days. Give me ready, though. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We are making a very good mess <laughs> over here. But, you know, the... the the mayor is helping a lot and all the people are working really fast. They are really uh, excited about this race. So they are working on weekends and after hours and they don't have any problem with that. to show the venue that is a very nice venue, but to get the cars in, in, in fast speed is not easy. We'll make it work. <laughs> that's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> a few more cameras. We'll be there, but that's good. Nelson Piquet Jr., four tenths of a second clear of Jean-Eric Byrne, through the right-hander of 13. Look at the See the moving. I mean, that is, that's what we've been asking for, cars sliding around a little bit. That's, uh, they've been saying that's a proper corner. So Brownie and I have just finished up here at uh, Punta del Este. Uh, we just had two days looking around the circuit. It was uh, pretty windy yesterday. Um, the place looks lovely, right on the coast. Some loads of really good overtaking spots. It's fast to drive. It's quite difficult for our camera coverage though. Um, but I'm sure it'll make it look good. Um, well, anyway, finished up here. Off to uh, Buenos Aires now. And uh, to do all the same again.